Criminal case over deaths of civilians in shelling in Donetsk opened in Russia. The Russian investigative committee opened a criminal case on charges of killing two or more persons and the use of prohibited means and methods of war over the artillery shelling of a hospital and two residential houses in Donetsk that killed a woman and a 12-year-old child, said the spokesman for the Russian investigative committee Vladimir Markin. Ukraine's president has announced plans to change the nation's legislation to make it possible to appoint foreigners to top government positions. My idea is to change the laws in order to give the right to engage foreigners in state service, including government, President Petro Poroshenko said in his address to parliament on Thursday. This has been dubbed unprecedented and may indicate that the country is being ruled outside. So we would like to ask how fast CIA director John Brennan becomes the foreign minister of Ukraine. Attempts of the United States to isolate Russia fail. The countries continue their bilateral cooperation, Russian Foreign Ministry said. Certainly there are attempts to isolate Russia. It is obvious that they fail because despite all the heavy pressure the United States is currently exerting, the cooperation continues. Maria Zakharova, deputy head of the ministry's information at press department, said Thursday. U.S. interference in the internal affairs of countries around the world has brought neither peace nor democracy, said Russia's deputy defense minister. America's double standard experiments in supporting terrorists are provoking further destabilization. Think of it, over the last decades the U.S. initiated two-thirds of all military conflicts. Call to memory how it all turns out in Yugoslavia, Iraq, Afghanistan and Syria, Russia's deputy defense minister Anatoly Antonov said, addressing colleagues from the southern and southeast Asian states in Colombia. Sri Lanka. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive up-to-date news on situation in Ukraine.